After a while of practicing with the shadow clone Jutsu Naruto is found by Aruka. I found you, Aruka said angry. Naruto looked up and said ah. It just you Iruka sensei. What the hell are you doing Naruto? Aruka shouted. He looks bit tired dot dot thought Aruka as he saw Naruto dirty clothes. He you found me, but I've only learned one technique Naruto said. So, he trained. Aruka thought. Say Naruto why did you steal the forbidden scroll? Aruka asked. Mizuki sensei told me about it he said I will pass if I learn a jutsu in the scroll, Naruto grinned come to think where is he Naruto? Thought. Mizuki. Aruka widened his eyes. Bah, Aruka feel a kunai come in Naruto and his direction he quickly pushed Naruto to the side. Not bad Aruka, Mizuki said, Naruto. Give me the scroll Mizuki demanded, no Naruto. Don't give him the scroll even if you die. Aruka screamed. Speak of the devil Naruto thought as he landed. Not bad Aruka, Mizuki said, Naruto. Give me the scroll Mizuki demanded, no Naruto. Don't give him the scroll. Aruka screamed. What the hell is going on? Why did you attack Iruka sensei, Mizuki sensei? Naruto demanded Naruto, there's no point in you having it, I'll tell you the truth why the village hate you, even Aruka, Mizuki said no. Don't. Aruka screamed again. Twelve years ago, the fourth Hokage didn't kill the Kayubi, instead he sealed it, Mizuki paused, since that incident, a new rule was created for this village, but Naruto this rule was never meant to be told to you. No. Don't. Aruka screamed again. What are you talking about? What for a rule? Naruto asked. Mizuki chuckled evil, the rule is that nobody is allowed to talk about that you are the demon fox. But Naruto heard that his heart sank. He lost all feeling in his body. You are the demon that destroyed the village and killed Aruka parents, Mizuki laughed, stop it Aruka cried. You have been lied by everyone. Mizuki said as he took his big shuriken to throw it to Naruto. All the village hate you, even Aruka. He said as he threw it at Naruto. Naruto did not move. He simply stood there as the shuriken made its way to him. The shuriken him in the chest. After he was hit he fell to the ground. Naruto no. Aruka yelled. He blacked out after that. He couldn't believe he had gotten brought into this cruel world and it was all because of the fourth Hokage's fault. If he had never sealed Kayubi inside him he would not have suffered. He thought about all abuse the villagers put him through. So you want to get revenge on those pathetic humans? Well then, I can help you with that. Said a voice. Naruto was shocked by the unexpected voice and when he looked to see where it came from, he was shocked by what he saw. It was a man. The man looked slender, yet fairly muscular. He has fairly short messy black hair, pale white skin, a black upper lip, and green eyes with small slit-shaped pupils, similar to a cat's. Part of his bangs fall between his eyes and he has distinctively thick eyebrows. He has teal lines which descend from the lower part of his eyes. He had a look disinterest. Wears typical clothes. A white jacket, black sash, and a white hakama. However, his jacket has longer coattails than others and the collar is higher. He also had a skull on his head and hole in his neck. The look on the man's face bothered Naruto. Not just his facial bothered Naruto, but also the hole in his neck. Naruto looked on in shock at the sudden appearance of the man, not sure of what to do or say. So you are my reincarnate. How pathetic. You displease me Naruto Uzumaki. said the man. Well, well what do why you mean? Naruto asked in shocked. Now then. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ulquiora Cypher, the former Quatro 4 Espada, a ranker, and you Naruto are my reincarnate. The now identified Ulquiora said, shocking Naruto to the core of his very being. Wa well, what do you, what do why you mean me mean? Naruto asked in a scared and shocked tone, his eyes so wide that they threatened to pop out of his head at any moment. It's quite simple really. You know how the process of reincarnation works right? Ulquiora asked, to which Naruto nodded his head, meaning that he did indeed know how it worked. Well then, it's simple. I died and my soul reincarnated into you Naruto. Before Naruto could say anything else though, Alquiora started talking again. But that's not why I'm here. I've been waiting in the back of your mind, watching you and everything that's happened to you from your birth to the point when you just killed. He said, closing his eyes for a moment. What is a rancor? Naruto asked. A rancor are hollows that have removed their masks in an effort to acquire the powers of both hollows and Shinigami. Alquiora explained, what are hollows and Shinigami Naruto asked. Hollows are a race of creatures which are born from human souls who, for various reasons, do not cross over to soul society after their death and stay in the human world for too long. They are corrupt spirits with supernatural powers which devour the souls of both living and deceased humans. Hollows settle in Hueco Mundo, but can cross over to the human world and soul society. Hollows are the opposite of humans. Shinigami are a race of spirits who govern the flow of souls between the human world and the afterlife realm called the soul society. 
they also purify hollows, and after the purification they get sent to to the soul society El Quiora, so hollows are like evil spirits, and the Shinagamas are the ones who protect humans from them. Naruto asked yes. But anyway, I've decided that it is time for you and I to truly become one. You see, once we merge, you will gain all of my powers and abilities, knowledge, and memories. Once that happens, you will become stronger than those who look down upon you since your birth. Alquiora Naruto was silent for several moments, thinking over what his previous incarnated said. He could refuse the offer that Alquiora had given to him and die, or he could accept it and get revenge on Mizuki who did this to him. So, with a sinister smile forming on his face he looked at Alquiora and finally gave him his reply. Alright. I think it's time to show this world the powers of the Quattro Spada. He said, as he and Alquiora shaking hands, sealing the deal. Back in the real world. Mizuki was laughing at sight of Naruto's dead body. Hiruka was sad to see die. Mizuki laughter was stopped when he saw a green aura explode from Naruto's body. What's going on? Asked a panicked Hiruka, surprised by the sudden energy coming from Naruto. What's going on? Didn't I just kill the demon brat? Mizuki thought. But here is in third Hokage. What is happening? Hiruzen said as he watched the events transpire through his crystal ball at the forest. The green aura faded. Naruto stood there with a different appearance. He was now taller. Naruto without the skull on his head. Iruka and Hiruzen were happy to see him alive, but the look on Naruto's face bothered them. It was as if he was looking at someone beneath him. Mizuki got angry. You stupid brat how are you alive? It does not matter this gives me a second chance to kill you again. Mizuki as if trash like you can kill me, Naruto said with a bored tone. Hiruzen and Aruka were surprised to hear this. This angered Mizuki. You brat how dare you Mizuki said angrily. Let's just get this over with. Looking at your face is kinda making me sick, Naruto said as he summoned a bunch of clones. What? Both Aruka and Mizuki show surprise. They solid, impossible, Aruka and Mizuki thought pretty much the same well Mizuki, good night, Naruto said as he snipped with a finger to order the clones to attack, and... There was no strategy, just pure force, so weak, I didn't use my need use any of my strongest techniques. Anbu came to get Mizuki. He asked Naruto for the scroll. Naruto handed it to him. Naruto can come over here Aruka said. Naruto walked to him. Close your eyes Aruka said. Iruka sensei when can I open the eyes? Naruto asked. Now Aruka replied and smiled. Congratulations on graduating he said. Aruka had tied the headband around Naruto's arm. Naruto don't listen to what Mizuki said you are not a demon. Yo you are Naruto Uzumaki my student and don't forget that. Hiruka yes you right I am not a demon. I am something worse. Naruto thought. Okay before you go the team placements will be announced in two weeks so come to the academy to find out who your teammates and sensei is. Hiruka. Time skip next day. The Hokage sent Anbu to go fetch Naruto. He went to see the Hokage. We now see Naruto in front of the Hokage looking at him. He now looked at the Naruto's appearance. He first suspected it had something to do with the Kayubi, but he pushed that thought aside as he remembered that Naruto had released a green aura. If it was the Kayubi's doing the aura would have been red. So what do you want old man Naruto? I am checking on to see if you are fine Hiruzen. I am fine you don't have to worry about me. Old man is it okay if I trained outside the village with my new abilities Naruto, that is fine Hiruzen said. If that is all. I will be leaving now Naruto. Before Naruto could leave someone suddenly barged in the room. It was little a boy. The boy had wooden kunai in his hand. It's time for to die old man. After you die I will become Hokage. Said the boy as he suddenly rushed at Hiruzen, only to trip by scarf the boy fell on his face. After falling the boy stood up. And glared at Naruto, saying that he tripped him. You I did trip me. The boy points at Naruto. Boy I did not trip you. You tripped on your own scarf. I suggest you get a shorter scarf. Naruto, hey, how dare you talk me like that? Don't you that I am the Hokage's grandson? Said the boy. Now he won't do anything. He is probably just like the others. Thought the boy only to be grabbed by throat by Naruto. Boy, I don't care if you are related to the third Hokage. You should know respect is earned, not given. Don't think people should respect you just for your grandfather's title. Naruto said he let him go. You brat, how dare hurt the young lord? Said a Jonin with glasses. The Jonin went on blah 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 until the third Hokage told him that his grandson left while he was talking, where is the young lord, says the Jonin. He followed Naruto on his way Hiruzen. Wait that was the demon brat. The young lord followed that delinquent. He should stay from people like him. Thought the Jonin after that the Jonin went to search for the Hokage's grandson. Time skip 20 min. 
we see now Naruto and Konohamaru at a training field. He told Naruto his name and why is trying to kill the Hokage. He tells Naruto he wants to be recognized as Konohamaru, not as the young lord. By becoming Hokage, he hopes to gain that recognition. Naruto tells that there is no shortcut to becoming the Hokage. He tells Konohamaru he must rise through the ranks before he can. Become Hokage. After telling him this, Naruto teaches him the sexy jutsu. He said with this technique, Konohamaru get beat the third Hokage easily. As Konohamaru was busy practicing this jutsu, the Jonin suddenly appeared and told him that he should get away from Naruto. Young Lord, what are you doing with him? Why oh you should stay away from him? Jonin no Ibisu sensei. He taught me a cool jutsu that helped me defeat my grandfather. Look at this sexy jutsu. Konohamaru transforms young lord. Stop this. What disgusting jutsu are you using? Why oh you don't need that boy. I can teach you the shortcut become the Hokage. Ibisu no big bro Naruto told me there's no shortcut to becoming Hokage. Konohamaru, you believe this brat over me Ibisu. Naruto cuts in their conversation saying. Well kid got you a lot to learn now look at this sexy jutsu harem technique Naruto when finished, saying the jutsu's name a bunch of naked women started to appear. All the woman went to Ibisu. After touching him a while he had a nosebleed and passed out. That was cool Konohamaru. Well I see you later little Konohamaru. Naruto. One will teach me another technique big bro. Konohamaru. There is nothing more I can teach you Konohamaru the rest of my techniques can only be used by me. Naruto Konohamaru was disappointed to hear this. After that Naruto disappeared from Konohamaru's sight. He appeared in front of his house. The next day he leaves the village to train his abilities. Naruto's abilities gained from Alquiora. Master Swordmanship. Master Hand-to-Hand -hand Combatant. Enhanced Strength, Durability and Speed. Immense Spiritual Power. Zenito Master. One of Alquiora's more noticeable traits is his tremendously skillful speed. Sunido is a technique that allows a ranker to travel at high speeds. Skywalk. All you have to do is focus spirit particles beneath your feet to form a platform, and you can stand in midair. They fly probably by propelling themselves with the particles or they kick off of it, or they just use the spirit particles to move them. Zero. Alquiora can fire Zero from his fingers with excessively destructive power. His zero can be charged and fired relatively fast, and is green instead of red, which is the most common color of a zero. The force of the blast can send an opponent hurtling long distances, effectively destroying any obstacle in its path at great range. He can fire it from either hand. Bala. Well, similar in function to a zero, a bala is not nearly as powerful, but thanks to its composition, its speed is 20 times faster, allowing it to be fired in quick succession. This technique hardens the user's spiritual pressure and fires it like a bullet from their fist. Alquiora's bala is red. Enhanced Hierro. The hardened skin of the Aranker, which is a result of their compressed spiritual power. Alquiora's skin is highly durable, even by Aranker standards. He can deflect attacks of similar power barehanded. Enhanced Pesquisa. The Aranker ability to sense spiritual energy. While any Aranker can learn it, Alquiora possesses impressive skill with it. From a single glance at his opponent, Alquiora can immediately determine how powerful his opponent is. Salida Vista. This ability allows Alquiora to replay events he has seen to others by removing and crushing an eye, which turns into dust and flows around those he intends to use it on. The dust relays his sight and feelings. Garganta Broadcast. The user of Garganta Broadcast can create individual Garganta portals that can show events that are currently taking place in a different area. High Speed Regeneration. Despite having great speed, durability, and attack power, Alquiora's greatest strength lies in his regenerative power. This power allows him to regenerate his eye after using his Salida Vista ability. He can quickly regenerate any part of his body except for his brain and internal organs. Garganta. The Garganta is a featureless black void connecting Hueco Mundo to other worlds. Due to its nature, the Garganta can be used to access any realm such as the human world and soul society. This allows the user to travel to almost any previously seen locations. Zanpakuto. Or Silago. Alquiora's Ampakutum is a standard size katana with a green handle and sheath. The guard has two curved extensions from its long sides with a line going through both sides, giving it an eye like appearance. Resurrection. Its release command is Imprison Mersilago. Mersilago unleashes a black and green burst of spiritual energy, which falls around Alquiora as green rain. In his released state, Alquiora becomes bat-like in appearance. While in this form, large, black bat wings form on his back, his hair grows longer and wilder, and the remains of his hollow mask centers atop his head, with two large horns extending outward to the sides towards the front. The lines on his face become black, broader, and more triangular, and his fingernails lengthen. His Aranker attire becomes more form-fitting and closed at the top, becoming more like a robe towards the bottom. 
In this form, he can use his wings for flight. Resurrection special ability. He gains even greater physical abilities such enhanced strength speed durability in this form. Luz de la Luna he can generate green energy javelins. He can use them as ranged weapons, throwing them at an opponent, and as a close range weapon. Zero Oscura. Is a black zero with a green outline. It is powerful enough to destroy a large part of a city town. Enhanced spiritual power. Though already possessing immense spiritual power, in his resurrection, his black and green spiritual energy permeates the area. It is intense enough to create a profound effect on others and coalesce into green rain which falls in the surrounding area when he releases. Resurrection. Segunda atop a second stage resurrection. Alquior refers to his second state as true despair, both before and after its release, because the immensely dense spiritual pressure it releases instills despair upon those around him. While he retains his black wings, which he can use defensively and offensively, his long white coat is gone, revealing his slender white torso, with his bare chest patterned, so his hollow hole, which has become larger, appears to be dripping black blood-like liquid. His waist becomes covered in something similar to black fur, which covers his arms and legs. His fingers grow claw-like extensions, and his feet resemble talons. The arises of his eyes turn yellow, and the sclera become green. The tear-like marks under his eyes increase in size and turn black. Alquiora's mask is completely gone. He has two large bad ears, and the number four Espada tattoo is no longer visible on his chest. Overwhelming Riatsu. Alquiora's already immense spiritual power significantly changes its Riatsu's nature upon entering his second stage. Pramba. He rapidly flies around the enemy in a circle while leaving damaging green energy behind him. The Tigger Whip. He can use his very long, thin, and powerful tail as a whip, or to lift, strike, and strangle a victim. His tail can break through solid objects. Lanza del Relampago Spanish for Lance of the Lightning. Alquiora creates a javelin like weapon using his spiritual power. It is quite like his original energy javelins, with the only noticeable difference being the energy flowing off of each end in a fashion similar to flames, making it look more arrow shaped. He can use this weapon as a projectile or as a melee weapon. When thrown, it produces an incredibly destructive explosion on impact, which dwarfs the fortress of Las Notches in height. Alquiora prefers to not use the attack at close range, most likely because the resulting blast would damage himself as well as Las Notches. While he can use these spears in rapid succession, he has difficulty controlling their trajectory. Naruto's Jutsu. Shadow Clone Jutsu This Jutsu allows the user to create one or more copies of themselves. The user's chakra is evenly divided between themselves and their clones. Creating one clone will give it half the user's chakra, creating two clones will give each a third of the user's chakra, and so on. Transformation Jutsu This technique is most often used to disguise the user as another person, but they can also turn into an animal, plant, or inanimate object. Substitution Jutsu With this Jutsu, one replaces their own body with a block of wood or some other object the moment an attack lands. This creates an optical illusion, making the enemy think the attack was successful. From this, the user can use the lapse in the enemy's attention to attack or flee from the battlefield. Time skip two weeks. At the academy. Well beginning today all of you are real ninjas, but you are still merely Genin, the hard part has just started. Now you will soon be assigned duties by the village. So today on, we will be creating the three-man teams dot dot, and each team will have a Jonin sensei. You will follow that sensei's instructions as you complete the assigned duties, Iruka said it to the class. The FT dot three-man teams. The just more people in the way dot, thought Sasuke I have to be with Sasuke kun. Thought Sakura. Teams. How troublesome dot thought Shikamaru. Sasuke kun will be in my team not with the for he thought Ino munch, munch dot I want to eat more dot dot, thought Joji. He whoever is in my team I will be the best dot Kiba. Naruto kun dot dot thought Hinata feeling sad that he didn't pass. Skip your relevant teams. Well team 7 will be Naruto Uzumaki, Sakura Haruno and Sasuke Chiha Ruka said. Most of the students were surprised to hear that Naruto passed. Hinata was happy to hear this. Those two better not get in my way Sasuke thought. Iruka continues, teammate are Kiba and Zuka Hinata Hyuga and Shino Aburam. Team 10 are Choji Akimichi Shikamaru Nara and Ino Yamanaka. Their Jonin senseis will come to get you. So take a break until then Aruka smiled time skip 3 hours. All the Jonin senseis except Team 7s came to get them. Sakura and Sasuke were the only one left in the classroom. Sasuke Ichiha was just about to walk to the classroom in the academy until dot. Sasuke kun called Sakura, where are you going? HMPF Sasuke reply I am leaving. I don't like people wasting my time as he saw the clock time where's Naruto? Sasuke wondered with Naruto. After training for two weeks Naruto had gained control of his abilities. He made a garganta and went back to Hidden Leaf. 
After getting back he walked to Academy. But Sasuke and Sakura. Bakashi finally arrived. He walked to the desk Sasuke and Sakura were sitting. That is when Sakura started yell at him. You are late. Where the hell have you been? Why oh you kept us waiting for three hours? So, what is your excuse? Sakura, well, I got lost on the road of life, said Kakashi with a eye smile. You know that is the lamiest excuse I have heard, yelled Sakura. Sasuke looked irritated after hearing Kakashi's excuse. Okay, so where is your other teammate, Kakashi? That idiot Naruto, he probably overslept or something, Sakura. Actually, Haruno, I am a here, said Naruto, surprising them. I couldn't even sense him, thought Kakashi and Sasuke. When the team looked at Naruto they were surprised. He no longer looked like the short yellow haired boy with whisker marks. He also was not wearing that horrible orange suit. They looked at Naruto's new appearance. He was taller. He now had short messy black hair, pale white skin, a black upper lip, and green eyes with small slit shaped pupils, similar to a cat's. Part of his bangs fall between his eyes and he has distinctively thick eyebrows. He has teal lines which descend from the lower part of his eyes. He had a look of disinterest. Wears typical clothes. A white jacket, black sash, and a white hakama. His jacket had long coattails with a high collar. He had a katana tied to his waist. Bakashi and Sasuke were surprised about this change. But Sakura shrugged this off. She wanted to yell at Naruto for being late. Before Sakura could do, Kakashi interrupted her. Okay, now that we are all here, meet me up on the roof of the academy. Kakashi said as he disappeared in a body flicker on the roof. Okay, let's start with some introductions, Kakashi. What do you want to know? Sakura. Your likes, dislikes, dreams for the future, hobbies, stuff like that. Kakashi, why don't you give us an example, Sensei Sakura? My name is Kakashi Hadake. I have no desire to tell you about my likes and dislikes. My dreams for the future. I haven't thought about that. I have a lot of hobbies. Kakashi all earned as his name thought Sasuke and Sakura. Now your turn, Pinky. Kakashi points at Sakura. I am Sakura Haruno, the thing like is dot. She stares at Sasuke. My hobbies are dot stares at Sasuke. My dream for the future dot stares at Sasuke. Sakura said blushing HMPH Sasuke. Pan girl. She will die early if she doesn't change soon, thought Kakashi with a sigh, what are your dislikes Kakashi? Naruto and Ino pig Sakura. Okay your turn next Mr. Dark and Broody. Kakashi says as he points at Sasuke, my name is Sasuke Ichiha dot there are lots of things I dislike dot I have few things I like. I don't want to use the word dream, but I have an ambition. The resurrection of my clan and to kill a certain man. As I thought. He wants to kill Itachi thought Kakashi. Ghoul thought Sakura. Well I guess it you turn Mr. Frowny face. Kakashi says as he points at Naruto, my name is Naruto Uzumaki Cypher Alquiora Cypher. I like the Ichirakus and Kinohimaru. I have few dislikes. I don't have a dream. Naruto well you all unique in your own way. Well we will start our duties tomorrow with a survival training, Kakashi says what dot dot. But we did enough training at the Ninja Academy, Kakashi Sensei Sakura SAYS9. Well, I'm your opponent, but this isn't normal training. Dot of the 27 graduates, only 9 will be chosen as Genin, the rest will be sent back to the Academy. This training is a super difficult exam, with a failure rate of over 66%. Sakura and Sasuke widen their eyes. Naruto looked unfazed by this. Tomorrow you will be graded on the training field 7, so bring all your shinobi tools, oh, and skip breakfast. You'll throw up. Kakashi he told them the location of the training ground and left. Time skip next day. Your late Sakura yells at Kakashi. Sorry I'm late guys, a black cat crossed my path so I had to go the long way. And after that I helped some old ladies in need. Kakashi said as he I smiled, what the hell, is that for obviously lie Sakura screams. Kakashi shrugs it off, well, forgot it, you guys have till the clock rings. Kakashi says as he put a clock on a log. Huh? Sakura asks. Well there are two bells. Your task is to take these from me before noon. Those who cannot get a bell by noon get no lunch. I'll not only tie you to one of those stumps, but I'll eat right in front of you, Kakashi smirks while putting three lunches boxes on the log. So that's why he didn't want us to eat. He wants to torture us. Sakura thought, you only need to get one bell. There are only two, so one of you will definitely be tied to a stump, and the person who doesn't take a bell fails, so at least one of you will be sent back to the academy, Kakashi said with a scray face, you can use your shurikens, so come at me with intending to kill or you won't succeed. But you will be in danger, Sakura says. She is quite right. You might end up losing a limp or two. Naruto says, in the real world those with no talent often bark the loudest. Well, ignore the dead last and start when I say dot, Kakashi couldn't finish his sentence because Naruto suddenly went to reach for his blade. Kakashi saw this. 
they disappeared and appeared behind Naruto. Kakashi grabs Naruto's arm and stops him from touching his blade. Slow down, I haven't said start yet. Kakashi says. Asked, dot, dot, Sakura thought. So this is Jonin level, dot, Sasuke thought. Well, in real life, the enemy won't wait for a start. Naruto. After said that he disappeared in smoke. All of the three widen their eyes. That boy Kakashi mumbled that was a shadow clone. I didn't notice. What he disappeared. Was that a clone? But it was solid Sakura and Sasuke widen their eyes, well he's right the enemy doesn't wait for a start dot, so let's begin, Kakashi said Sasuke and Sakura quickly hiding in the forest. Dot I really underestimated Naruto Kakashi thought. Dot who will I go after first? Kakashi said as he looking around him, with Sakura would be funny. Haha Sakura pants where are you Sasuke kun? Then suddenly she heard a voice ah, sa, Sakura. Sakura recognized this voice Sasuke kun. She turned happily, but to her horror Sasuke is covered with kunai sticking in his body and blood flowing non-stop from him, s, sa, Sakura, help, he plead and falls Sakura screams and immediately faints. Maybe I overdid that with the genjutsu, Kakashi thought well I guess I can read my book until Naruto or Sasuke decide to come find me, Kakashi Kakashi took out his book. He started reading it. As he was reading he was hit by kunai. HMPF Sasuke smirk, but it's last not long as he saw there was a log substitution. Yes answer Kakashi as he appear behind him, but Sasuke react fast and jump quickly away and threw some kunai at him, which Kakashi dodge easily, I'm different than those two. Sasuke kun. Let's test that out Kakashi said. Sasuke suddenly used some hand seals. That jutsu, Kakashi widen his eyes, how can he use the jutsu? He is merely a genin. HMPF Sasuke reply, as he finished the sign Katen. Kakaku no jutsu fire style. Fireball jutsu a big fireball, flying into the direction to Kakashi. The fireball hit Kakashi, I hit him Sasuke smirks. Well not really suddenly a voice come the ground and Kakashi hand pull Sasuke feet to the ground ninjutsu. Doten. Shinju Zanchu no jutsu, earth release. Double suicide decapitation technique, Kakashi said and walked away. Sakura finally woke up from her nightmare and run to search for her Sasuke kun and found him but Kaya Sasuke kun lost his body and again falling unconscious, she do damn useless thought Sasuke. After a while Naruto decides to fight Kakashi. So it is your turn. Well bring it on Kakashi. Naruto walked towards him. Kakashi blinked for a second and in that second Naruto vanished. Kakashi felt a hand grabbing his face. Naruto throws Kakashi through some trees. Naruto gives Kakashi some to recover. He is too fast. I can't keep up with him thought Kakashi. Well I guess that was too fast for you. Maybe I should hold back more. Naruto says, that was not his full speed. Even if I used my Sharingan, I would not be able to keep with him. Thought Kakashi, well, I should take this a bit seriously if I don't want to lose my limbs. Kakashi chuckles as he puts his book away very well. Naruto said as he moved at a speed that Kakashi could keep up with, Kakashi avoided a kick from Naruto. He took a step back to throw Kunai at him. Naruto raised his finger. At the tip of his finger, his zero started forming. Just as he was about to shoot at a Kakashi, the timer of the clock went off. Bring it seem like the test is over dot dot, Kakashi said relieved after a while. Well it seems nobody have a bell, that mean you all failed. Kakashi smiles plus. Naruto took out the two bells from his pocket. Kakashi looked at his waist to see no bells. What? How did get the bells? Sakura. I took them during my fight with Kakashi. Naruto. But what are you doing with the bells? You just need one Kakashi suddenly Naruto threw one of the ball to Sasuke and the other to Sakura, what dot why me? Sakura asked. Well it doesn't matter right. Becoming a genin does not sound interesting to me Naruto no dot Sasuke said suddenly and all the others give him a question look dot I will not take a bell that I didn't earn, I will give you it back dot. B dot yeah me too, it was nice Naruto, but I can't take it you have fought it for it, you should take it, Sakura said, well that's mean, Kakashi suddenly starts Naruto, Sakura and Sasuke look to him, you all pass, say Kakashi with a grin. Silent. What? Sakura screams surprise heck even Sasuke was surprise, what do you mean? Well the test was testing you, if you work in team, well in the fight you didn't show it, but this part was priceless Kakashi I smiles, this was test to see if we would put our differences aside and work as the team. Said Naruto yes Kakashi answer remember. Those who break a rule are called a trash, but who who don't take care of their comrades a lower than trash well, was nice to meet you team 7, I'm looking forward to work with you, Kakashi smiles at his new students. I'm skipped to Hokage's office. All the Jonin senseis except Kakashi are the Hokage's office telling him whether their teams failed or passed. Skip all irrelevant teams. Teammate passes Kurenai. How were they Hirazan? 
They had good teamwork. But they could do with some improvements. Current I. So what do they need to improve? Harrison. Diba is arrogant. He underestimates his opponents. I fear that may get him killed one day. Shino needs to work on his taijutsu skills. Hinata she is a shy girl who does not have confidence in herself. Kurenai, OIC. YOU will need to work on their issues. OK, Mech's team here is in yes or Kurenai. Team 10 passed. Well, they also had good teamwork. Asuma. What do they need to improve? Here is an. Doji has a kind heart. He does not want to hurt others. I fear that may getting him killed. He know she needs a lot of work. SHE sucks at everything. Shikamaru, well, the kid is smart, but he is extremely lazy. OK, you will need to work on that. Here is an. After that he told the Jonin senseis they are free to go. After three hours Kakashi finally appeared in the Hokage's office. So how did they do asked Hiruzen. They passed said Kakashi. How did they pass asked Hiruzen. Kakashi then told how Naruto took the bells from him. And how he gave the bells to his teammates. Hiruzen surprised to hear was able to how strong Naruto had become. Lord Hokage do you know what happened to Naruto? Just how did become so strong? Kakashi Hiruzen told about the incident Mizuki. How it led to Naruto's newfound power. Let's hope that Naruto does not become an enemy to the Hidden Leaf Hiruzen if that is all I will leaving now Kakashi body flickered. We now see Hiruzen cursing the mortal enemy of any Kage dot which was paperwork. Am you Minato, how were you able finish this, so fast dot I swear I'm gonna kill you if I meet you in the afterlife. Time skip one month. After a series of uneventful D-rank missions. Team 7 are fed up with the missions they received so far. At Hukage Tower. Now, Team 7 your next duty is, him dot babysitting an alder's grandson, shopping in the neighboring village, and help with the potato diggin'. The Hokage listed cut this crap, I want to do, you know, a more incredible mission not do chores. Give us a better one Sakura shouts I agree. Sasuke. I knew this day comes sooner or later Kakashi sighs. You're just rookies, everyone starts off with the simple duties and works their way up Aruka screams at Sakura, doing chores is no helps to us, we can't develop our technique, if we keep this going on Sakura screams back, I agree with Sakura. If we keep doing these missions we will never become stronger Sasuke, it seems I have to explain to you what these duties are all about. The Hokage starts listen, every day the village receives numerous requests, from babasting to assassination. Each request is written down on the lists and divided into an A, B, C and D ranking based on the difficulty. The village is also divided based on the skill. Also started from Hokage to the Juchu and Jinins. The Hokage continue to speak, the missions are then handed out by us at the top to ninjas based on their abilities, and if the duty is completed successfully, we receive payment from the client. And because you guys just recently became Genin. D rank missions are perfect for you. Old man such lower ranked missions is below someone of my stature. Naruto suddenly spoke up, someone of your stature dope. Your just loser claims to be someone of high stature Sasuke smirks need I remind you if it was not for me, you and Sakura would not have passed the bell test. Naruto Sasuke a lost smirk his when Naruto said that. Bakashi do you think they are ready for a C-rank mission here's an. I believe they are. If any trouble comes I will handle it Kakashi. Okay if you want it that much dot will give you a C-rank mission, it's a protection mission for a certain individual. The Hokage said the door opens and. Team 7 meet Tazuna Hiruzen. So this the team who is going to protect me. These two brats Sakura Sasuke, and these two grownups Naruto Kakashi. Those two look competent, but these brats look like they won't be much of use Tazuna this guy how dare he insult me and Sasuke kun, dot I'll kill him, Sakura shouts and want to strike him, but Kakashi holds her back. Calm down Sakura he is the one we are going to protect, what's the point if we kill him? Kakashi said well I am the super expert bridge builder Tazuna, I expect you to provide me super protection until I get back to my country and complete the bridge. Tazuna said, ok team let's meet at the gate tomorrow. Bring your equipment and pack necessary food and other things you will need Kakashi time skip next day. At the gate. Let's go Kakashi said as they leave. Am I really safe with you guys Tazuna asks. Don't worry I'm a jonin Kakashi replies. Um, Tazuna-san. Sakura asks. What? Tazuna. Well you're from the wave country right? Do you have ninjas in your country Sakura of course they do Horuno. Our help is definitely not needed. Naruto said with sarcasm, Naruto don't make fun of Sakura. No, not in the wave country. But in most other countries the culture may be different, but hidden villages exist, and so do ninjas. Bakashi answered the question they walked past puddle. Naruto sensed two signatures coming from the puddle. He decided not to attack. The puddle. It has not rained for days. Kakashi thought. Bakashi figured out this was an enemy waiting to ambush them. As they walked past the puddle. 
The puddle form two ninjas, and they attack Akashi first, with a chain. They all widen their eyes at the sudden attack, except for Naruto. One down one of the two guys said as they killed Kakashi. Kakashi sensei, Sakura screams. They use the substitution jutsu. Thought Naruto. The two mystery guys went to attack Azuna two down, they said together, they were stopped by Naruto. Naruto used Sunido. He appeared in front of them with his blade unsheathed. He quickly chopped off one arm from both of them. Great speed and deadly swordmanship. He could have killed me during the bell test. Thought Kakashi scared from a tree Kakashi decided come out of hiding. He quickly restrained the two men. You're alive Kakashi sensei. Sakura. Azuna can you please explain. Why these two were after you Kakashi. I don't know. Tazuna. Well if don't know. I guess me and my team should just leave you alone here. Dot, Kakashi said with a eye smile now Tazuna sweat drop. I give in. Dot, dot, do you know the man with the name Gatu? Gatu? You mean from the Gatu shipping? Kakashi replies. Yes. Dot officially here owns a large shipping company. But it isn't important, well it was about a year ago when he set his eyes on the wave country, dot through money and violence, he took control of the country's shipping industry. Dot. Atu now has a monopoly on all business traffic in the country, the only thing he has to fear now is the completion foe the bridge Tazuna explains, I see, since you're building the bridge you are in his way Sakura said. But I don't understand why didn't you hire better ninja or more if you knew ninja are after you. Kakashi said, well the country is super poor, even the feudal lord has no money, and of course we don't have money either, so we have not enough for the expan of B-rank mission. But don't worry about it, if I die my Q10 years gradson will just cry for a few days, Tazuna laughed oh yeah my daughter will live a sad life hating leaf village ninja forever, but it won't be your fault. Not at all. He continued to laughs, you trying to guilt trip us into helping you is not working on me. Naruto said Tazuna got afraid they would not help. But his worries were for naught. I will offer you my assistance. Don't get the wrong idea. I am not helping you out of the goodness of my heart. I simply want Gatu to experience true despair. Naruto well I guess we have no choice to protect it lead until you get back to your country Kakashi said, they continued to walk until they came to a lake. Tazuna's friend was waiting for him with a boat. After hours. They made it to land. They climbed of the boat. They walked for a couple of minutes until. Sasuke suddenly twitch and threw a kunai to a bush, but a white rabbit come out, Sasuke kun you almost killed that cute rabbit. Sakura. What dot, a white rabbit here. But it's summer dot dot, was it for a kawarimi? Kakashi thought, he realized what would happen, damn it, Kakashi cursed Evren get down, then suddenly a big sword was thrown at them, Kakashi took Sakura down, Sasuke ducked, and Naruto jumped away with Tazuna. Well if isn't that the copycat Kakashi. No wonder the brothers failed the attacker said who the hell is he. Sakura and Sasuke thought, as they looked at their attacker well well, if it isn't the hidden mists rouge ninja Zabuza Mamoichi, said Kakashi Sasuke prepares to attack, but Kakashi stopped him before he could. Sasuke was angry because his Kakashi stopped him, sorry Sasuke, but this one is on a whole other level, I'm going against him and I will need dot, Kakashi apologized as he lift up his headband that cover his eye and shows the Sharingan. What? How can he have the Sharingan? Only the Ichi has had it. Sasuke thought surprise. Sharingan what the hell is that? Sakura asks as she see the Sharingan for the first time. Well, it is said that some have the ability in their eyes to read and defeat all types of gen, tai, and ninjutsu. The Sharingan is one of the types of pupil that gives you this power. Dot, dot, answer Sasuke. Dot, dot, but that's not the only ability the Sharingan has. He exactly. Dot, dot, that's not all. Dot, what even scarier is dot that you can copy your opponent's techniques once you see them. Zabuza continue what Sasuke said. Well if isn't my lucky day I get to fight the copy ninja Kakashi. The man who has copied over a 1000 jutsu. Zabuza wow, dot I didn't know our sensei was that great, Sakura thought. The Sharingan is really a great weapon, but what's going on? The Sharingan is a special physical condition that only appears in a self few members of the Achiha clan, dot dot how can he have it? Even perfectly dot could he be? Sasuke thought while this was going on. Naruto used Bisquisa on Zabuza to check how strong he was. Naruto was left disappointed. Zabuza was on Kakashi's level. While using Pesquisa he detected a presence. He guessed that it was Zabuza's partner. Now let's end talking. Dot, I have to kill that old man Zabuza says. But it seems I have to beat you first Kakashi. Dot, he says as he disappear and appear on the water in Ninpu. Dot, hidden mist, no jutsu Zabuza says and disappeared. Naruto uses to this his advantage he creates two clones. He orders one to watch the accomplice and other to go find Gato's hideout. He'll come after me first. Zabuza Momoichi. As a member of the Hidden Mist, he was known as an expert in silent killing, you will not even notice until you're already dead. So you guys should be careful Kakashi says calmly as a thick fog came. 
a choice da, suddenly Zabuza says, well there is echo liver, lungs, spine, clavicle, neck vein, brain kidneys or heart dot which one should I go after, Zabusa asks evilly, we should skip all Theatrix and get started with the battle Naruto. Well you are brave kid Zabuza said letting out his killing intent. Then suddenly Kakashi prepare a jutsu and lets out his own killing intent out. Sasuke, Sakura and Tazuna got scared at the killing intent. Naruto was not phased by this. He felt worse for Mazen. What an incredibly dangerous Kai it feels like I'll be killed if I make a single move. This could drive a person crazy the intensity of a jonin, it feels like my life is being skeezed, I can't take it, I'd almost rather die now and get it over with. Sasuke thought with stutter Sasuke-kun, don't worry I'll protect you guys even if it kills me. I won't let my comrades die. Sasuke, Sakura and Tazuna calmed down. It's over Zabuza says as he appear behind Tazuna. He was stopped by Kakashi before he could hit Tazuna with a kunai. But another Zabuza appear behind him. As the clone that Kakashi attacked dissolve in water. Zabuza attack with his sword and cut Kakashi in halves, but he also disappear in water. Wah, a water clone. Did he copy it even in the mist? Don't move. Kakashi says as he appeared behind Zabuza with his kunai on Zabuza's neck, it's over. Then Zabuza chuckle, it's over. Are you kidding me? There's no way you can defeat me with your monkey-like imitations. It was impressive that you copied my technique but Zabuza says, as another Zabuza comes behind Kakashi this time Zabuza's prepare an attack at Kakashi with his sword. And said with a scary look, I'm also not that easy. Then the clone in front of Kakashi turned into water. As Zabuza swing his sword, Kakashi duck, but Zabuza kick already with his feet at Kakashi face, but Kakashi ducked and jumped into the sea, foolish dot Zabuza grin. What? This water is heavy dot oh no Kakashi thought. Tsuro no jutsu, water prison technique, as Kakashi trapped in a water ball that Zabuza create, you may have been trying to escape to the water, but that was a big mistake. Haha, <laughs> I now have you in my inescapable special prison Zabuza smirks at Kakashi naivety, well Kakashi, we can finish things later, first I'll take care of them, Zabuza says as he create a water clone. He wearing forehead protectors and acting like real ninjas, but you know what? A real ninja is someone who survived numerous brushes with death. Basically, once you're good enough to be listed in my handbook, then you can start calling yourself a ninja, you guys should not be referred to as ninjas, the clone said to the genin, as he disappear. But before he could strike, Naruto shot the clone with a ball through the chest destroying it. Bah, Zabuza widened his eyes of this counterattack. Well then register my name, Naruto Uzumaki Cipher. At your handbook Naruto what was that, Sasuke, Sakura and Tazuna thought. That looked different than the other attack he was going to fire at me. Kakashi thought haha not bad boy, but it was just a lucky shot Zabuza says as he creates another clone, you guys take Tazuna-san and run away, you have no chance of beating him, as long as he's keeping me trapped in this prison he can't move the water clone cannot go very far from his real body. Kakashi yells to his students. You're quite foolish. Naruto. What? Kakashi looks surprised at Naruto reply. He can simply kill you and come after us. And also did you forget what you said to us? Those who break the rules are called trash, but who those who abandon their comrades are lower than trash Naruto sensei your son has grown up well dot, Kakashi thought. Is this really Naruto baka? Sakura thought. Well said dope Sasuke smirks. Suddenly Zabuza laughed, you guys will never grow up, when I was about your age, these hands were already dyed red with blood. Zabuza said with a scary look, the demon of the mist Zabuza. Kakashi says. So you've heard a little about it. Zabuza says. Long ago in the Hidden Mist Village also called the Blood Mist Village, there was a final obstacle in becoming a ninja dot. You even know about that graduation. That exam what's this graduation exam thing, Sakura asks. The dot fights to the death between the students. Zabuza answered. But dot Sasuke, Sakura and Tazuna were surprised. This didn't surprise Naruto. In his life as Alquiora. Every day in Hueco Mundo was a fight for survival. Friends who have trained and eaten at the same table are pitted against each other and go at it until one of them loses his life. There are friends who had helped each other and shared dreams, Zabuza says terrible. Sakura stuttered. Ten years ago, the Hidden Mist graduation exam was forced to change. This change came after the previous year when a devil appeared. Kakashi continues with the story, there a boy who didn't hesitation and without pause had killed over a hundred of the students. The name is Mamachi Zabuza Kakashi says wa. Sasuke, Sakura and Tazuna. Well that it does not matter. Compared to monsters like Ichigo Kurosaki and Aizen. You're trash. Naruto Ichigo and Aizen. Those two must be strong if Naruto calls the monsters Kakashi thought, why you brat? Zabuza said angrily. Zabuza was going to order his clone to attack. He was when Naruto appeared in front holding a Siro. 
Naruto shot the Siro at Tsubuza sending him through trees. Kakashi was freed from the prison. Naruto then unsheathed his blade and decapitated Zabuza's clone. The clone turned into water afterwards. Naruto then puts his back in its sheath. At speed and attack zero. Dot, when did the dough become this strong? Sasuke thought what? Tazuna and Sakura. Zabuza sama no. Thought his accomplice. I forgot how powerful he is. He probably can complete this mission by himself. Thought Kakashi. Good work, Naruto. You can leave the rest to me. Kakashi. Fine. He is all yours. Naruto said. Am you brat come back here so that I can kill you, said the injured Zabuza sorry dot, but you're my opponent, Kakashi said. Zabuza is alright. Zabuza's accomplice let out a sigh of relief. I'll tell you that I don't fall for the same jutsu twice dot dot, what will you do? Kakashi Suiten. Suiten no jutsu, water release. Water dragon bullet technique, both of the ninjas shout at the same time two big dragon of water clash each other. There's was a big impact and the whole battlefield is with water strange dot dot what's going on. He, completely copy my moves. Dot. Zabuza thought it's like he. Dot, dot. Dot reading them, Kakashi finishes thought. What? Did he read my mind? Damn that. Dot. Freaky eye pissing me off. Dot right. Kakashi finishes his thought again. Head. Dot, all you're doing is copying me. Dot. You can't beat me, you monkey bastard. Both Zabuza and Kakashi shouts in the same time. Damn you, I'll make it so you can never open that mouth again. Zabuza snaps Suiten. Daibakufu no jutsu, water release. Great waterfall technique, Kakashi said as he finished his movement wa. That is impossible I'm the one doing the jutsu, yet I can't keep up. Zabuza yells as a Kakashi create a massive blast of water at him it's over, Kakashi said as he stand on a tree. Can you see the future? Zabuza asks. Yes and your future is deep. Kakashi said when he about to strike, but suddenly a few senbin fly out the nowhere to Zabuza and kill him one. He you're right, he's dead, said a masked boy. So he or she finally decided reveal themself. Naruto thought. Who are you? Sakura shout. Relax Sakura, he, Kakashi start. Adashi Naruto thought. Is a hidden mist hunter nin Kakashi continue. Thank you very much, I have been searching for the opportunity to kill for Zabuza for a long time, the hunter nin said thankfully him dot from his voice and height, he's probably not much older than his students. Yet he's a hunter nin, he's not a normal kid, Kakashi thought, who are you Sasuke asked. Don't worry Sasuke dot he's not an enemy Kakashi said. That's not it, that's Ibuza dot that Zabuza was easily killed by him dot dot a guy that's strong. A guy that's strong killed by a kid, a kid that not much different from me, Sasuke said, well, I know how you feel but, this is also the truth dot in this world, there always exists kids younger than you yet stronger than me dot. Akashi said as he looked at Naruto then the hunter nin disappear from the tree and appear besides the dead body and said, your battle is now over and now I must dispose of this body. Since it seems to be a body with many secrets. Farewell. The hunter said, the accomplice could not have been more obvious. A real hunter nin would have destroyed the body on sight. He is making it obvious to me he or she is saving Zabuza. It seems Kakashi has not noticed. Naruto thought disappointed well, now we have to get Tazuna sent back to his home, let's go Kakashi said, but suddenly he falls unconscious. He was caught by Naruto. Well, let's go to Tazuna's house, Naruto said. I'm skip. At Tazuna's house. Are you alright Mr. Kakashi a woman asked. Yeah dot I just can't move for a week or so, Kakashi said weakly, but, who are you and where I am? He asked well, this is Tsunami-san the daughter of Tazuna, and we are at his house, Naruto answered the question as Tsunami went back to the kitchen, HMPF Kakashi sensei dot the Sharingan is incredible, but, if it puts that much stress on the body. I guess you have to think before using it, Sakura said it is sensei condition well, we defeated that strong of a ninja this time. We should be safe for a while Tazuna laugh, lunch it finished Tsunami yell out the kitchen. Before they went to the lunch, Sakura asked Kakashi Kakashi sensei, who was that masked kid? That's the mask worn by the Hidden Mist Special Hunter Nin team, they are also known as body erasers. Their duty is to completely dispose of the body without a trace. A ninja's body has within it secrets of the village's ninjutsu, information on different chakra types, herbs, and other things that will reveal things about the village. For example, if I died, the secrets of the Sharingan could be revealed. If you don't be careful there's the danger that the enemy will steal your justu, so by killing and disposing of the missing nin who have abandoned their village, the hunter nins protect the information from getting out. They are the specialists who guard their village's secrets, Kakashi answered the question, then why didn't he do it right there instead of going to another place? Naruto says giving Kakashi a hint that Zabuza is alive, wah, wow, Kakashi said as his eyes widen. So he finally realized it Naruto thought. Your right dot body erasing teams usually dispose of the body of the person they killed right there. Kakashi, so what? 
Sakura asked. Isn't obvious Sakura. They are saying that the Hunter Nin was a fake and that Zabuza is alive. Sasuke no way, Sakura. Are you serious Tazuna yelled. What the hell do you mean? Kakashi sensei you checked and said he was dead Sakura yelled to her sensei what? Sakura. Yeah, I did, but that was most likely just a monetary death. The needle weapon that Hunter Nin used unless it hits a vital organ has a low probability in killing your opponent. It's an item even used by doctors in acupuncture therapy. Hunter Nins know about the body's structure thoroughly. Putting a person in a momentary dead state is probably easy for them, first, he carried away the body of the much heavier Zabuza. Second, he used a weapon that has low probability of killing. These two points indicate that his motive was, Kakashi said not to kill Zabuza, but to save him. Sasuke finished the sentence. Yes, Kakashi said, aren't you thinking too much? Hunter Nins are supposed to kill missing Nins Tazuna said no, with all the suspicion we will prepare before it's too late. That's a shinobi rule Kakashi reply so, that means you guys will receive training, Kakashi said to his pupil sensei, what's a little training going to do? Our enemy is a ninja you struggled against, even with the Sharingan Sakura yell, don't worry we have Naruto to back me up dot but obviously dot this is just training until I get better, you won't able to defeat him without me. Kakashi said, but sensei, if Zabuza is alive he could attack at any time, so should we be training. About that, a person put in a momentary death situation should take a while before their body returns to normal, so we train until then Kakashi, you're stupid, then a little boy come in. Oh Inari where were you? Tazuna said. Welcome back, grandpa. Inari said. Say hello the to the ninja who protected me Tazuna said. Grandpa, they are gonna die. Gato is gonna kill you. Inari said. You are right boy we are going to die. Naruto. Those present were surprised to hear this. We all will die someday be it because of a murder, suicide, natural causes etc. We will die. Kid don't worry I don't plan on dying soon Naruto you are stupid, Inari yells. You are quite a pessimist for someone so young. Naruto. You guys dot dot, how long you want to make me wait the lunch getting cold tsunami yell with a dark aura she is scary, team 7 thought except Naruto. Inari. Don't you want to come? His grandpa asked. No, I look at the ocean from my room, Inari said as he left. Huh? What's happened? Tsunami asked as the dark aura faded away and they explain her what was happening, so it that happened, Tsunami said sadly. As Naruto left the eating room, Dadichi heard Inari. Ooh. Ooh, dad. Ooh, Inari cried and looked at the picture of his dad. So Gato murdered his father. Naruto thought. Time skip. After they finished eating, they went outside. Okay we start training before that, do you know what chakra is? Chakra is the energy a shinobi needs when performing a jutsu. That energy has two parts. The body energy that is in each of the billions of our cells. And the spiritual energy gain third training and other experiences. These two parts are combined. So by bringing out and releasing chakra, we can use a jutsu. This is done third the process of perfuming a seal with the hands. Sakura. But it seems you know it, Kakashi. But Kakashi sensei. What do you want about chakra? We can already use jutsu, Sakura asked. You guys are not using chakra properly Kakashi said. What do you mean Sasuke asked. Well listen, as Sakura said early, to release chakra means to bring out physical and spiritual energy and mix them together within your body, and based on what jutsu you use, the chakra unless you control it properly, the jutsu will be weakened or not work at all, and by wasting energy, you won't be able to fight as long. These kind s of weakness will appear Kakashi answer. Well you do have a point sensei. SK what should we do? Sakura asked. You will learn how to control it. Through very tough training Kakashi said. What are we going to do? Sasuke. Dot tree climbing Kakashi answered with a smile. What do you mean? Sakura. You will how to climb trees without the use of your hands. Let me demonstrate, Kakashi said as he gathered chakra in his feet and begun to walk up until he reached the ast and looked down up to them. You understand now? Gather your chakra in the bottom of your feet and clip up a tree, this is something you can do once you can use chakra well, Kakashi said with a smile. Wait a minute how is leering how to climb a tree going to make us stronger? Sakura asked. Here's the main part. Listen closely. The purpose of this training is first to teach you how to control chakra. To bring out the proper amount to the proper area. As I said earlier, this is the important aspect when using jutsu. This can be difficult for even a skilled ninja. The amount of chakra needed to climb a tree is small, but it must be exact, and it is said that the bottom of the foot is the most difficult area to gather chakra. So basically, if you can learn this control, you should be to master any jutsu. 
the second things is for you to develop a stamina needed to control chakra properly, depending on the jutsu, controlling your chakra properly can be very difficult, and a ninja will usually be gathering his chakra during battle, while constantly moving, those types of situations make controlling chakra even more difficult, that's why, from this tree climbing. You must gain the stamina needed for this proper control. Kakashi explained. Well, me talking all day isn't going to accomplish anything. Kakashi said as he took three kunai from his pocket, this is something you'll have to learn with your bodies, Kakashi said as he threw the three kunai to his pupil. Use those kunais to mark how high you make it up a tree, then use that mark as your goal and try to surpass it. I should finish this training fast. Sasuke thought plus. I hope Sasuke kun will compliment me if I can do it fast, Sakura thought. Naruto threw the kunai back to Kakashi and decides to leave. Naruto where are you going? This training exercise will be beneficial to you. Kakashi. Leave the dope sensei. Something like this is probably too hard for him Sasuke smirks. This will not be beneficial to me. Let me show you. Naruto says he jumps the air. He puts spirit energy beneath his feet to create a platform to stand on. What? Sakura Sasuke and Kakashi said surprised at seeing Naruto standing in the air. As you can see I don't need to participate in this training. Naruto said as he disappeared in a sanito. I guess should not be surprised. Kakashi. Adobe how did he become so strong Sasuke thought with anger. After Naruto left. After Sasuke finished gathering chakra here and up the tree as Sasuke make four steps the tree crack, but before he fell he make the spot. I can't believe it would be this hard, too much chakra and the wood cracks dot, but too weak and you don't stick at all and dot well that happened, Sasuke thought. This is pretty easy suddenly someone said, as Sasuke looked up to see Sakura sit on a branch very high. Wow, not only does she know a lot about chakra, but her control and stamina are quite good. I guess the Ichiha clan isn't worth much. Kakashi smiles. Shut up. Sensei Sakura shot Sasuke-kun will be mad at me. Am it Sasuke. With Naruto. Naruto looked for a place where no would disturb him. He decided to do his training. I'm skip next day at the bridge. Beyond Sakura sigh it's boring here plus. You sure seem bored all by yourself, where's Naruto and Sasuke? Tazuna asked. I don't know where Naruto is. Sasuke is training. I am the only available to protect you. Sakura. Hey Tazuna, suddenly a co-worker said. What is it Toto? Tazuna. I've been doing a lot of thinking recently and can I stop working on the bridge? Why is that? This is so sudden not you too. Tazuna, we've been close for a long time now. I want to help you, but if we continue this Gatu will notice us and if you get killed then what's the point? Why don't we quit now? Building the bridge. I can't do that. This bridge is our last hope. This is the bridge we started building together believing it would bring resources into our super poor country. But if we lose our lives. It's already noon. Let's stop for today, Toto, you don't have to come tomorrow, Tazuna said and leave with Sakura. At the city. What with this village? Sakura asked herself if she see many people that steal and to find a work. Well I'm supposed to bring home food for lunch, well here we are, Tazuna said as he walking in the store. There's hardly anything here to buy, Sakura said at a few goods. It's been like this since Gatu came. All the adults have lost hope, that's why we now need that bridge a symbol of courage. We need for the people to lose their fear and regain the desire to stand up for themselves. If that bridge, if that bridge can be completed, the city will return to that time. The people will return to how they used to be. Tazuna said. Sasuke kun, Kakashi sensei Naruto, we must help them, Sakura thought sadly. Unknown to them, Naruto was sitting on a roof. He saw the condition of the land of waves. Later at Tazuna's. Team 7 were eating. They were all enjoying the food until. What's the point to become stronger? You will die anyway, Inari yell and run away. There is expansion is for his behavior. Tazuna. You mean his father Naruto? Yes you are right. Inari had a father not related by blood, but they were very close like a real father and son, Inari would laugh a lot back then, but, Inari changed since the incident with his father. Tazuna cried. That incident. What happened? Kakashi asked. Well before I get to that I first have to tell you about the man who was called the hero of the city Tazuna said. Tazuna tells them how Gato executed Kaiza. Parable. Sakura cried, Sasuke looked away. Naruto was not bothered by this. Time skip next day. Naruto laid in a forest. A beautiful woman saw him and it seemed that she was the hunter Nim that helped Zabuza. She saw the destroyed trees and wondered what the hell he was doing. Then she approached Naruto and said. You'll catch a cold sleeping a place like this. Who are you? Naruto asked. I'm Haku and you? I am Naruto Alquiora Cypher. You can call me Naruto or Alquiora. Naruto. You sure are working early Naruto. 
You too, what are you doing here at this time of the morning Haku? Training Naruto. At head protector. You must be a ninja Haku. Yes. Why are you training? Do you have someone who is important to you? Haku. Well I do have little brothers, Konohamaru and Yudin, and a little sister, Mogi, and the Ichiraku family. Naruto. I believe when a person has something important to protect dot that's when they can truly become strong. You remind me of Ichigo Kurosaki. You become stronger when you have something to protect. Naruto said with a smile. This was the first time Naruto smiled since merging with Alquiora. Well it's time that I go. Let's meet again somewhere Haku. Will that be soon Hunter Nin? Naruto. Bah, Haku looked surprised that he looked around to see him, but he disappeared. How did he? And how did he know Dot, Haku thought. Later. Where is Naruto? He left by himself last night Kakashi wonder. He's missing breakfast. Plus Sasuke goes off on a walk and doesn't come back. Sakura wondered Dot SHE then saw Sasuke standing at the top of a tree. So he finally mastered the tree climbing exercise Naruto said as he appeared. Sasuke kun Sakura cried with heart in her eyes. Back to Tazuna place. As they sitting in the eating room na, Inari became angry. Why, why do you guys bother to try so hard? No matter how hard you train, you're still no match for Gatu's men, I'd hate to be like you, you don't know anything about this country, yet you're being so nosy what the hell do you know? You don't know how hard life can be. Inari cried. Boy you should grow up. You can't just run away and cry all day. That won't solve your problems. Naruto said as he left the table. Later. Inari sitting behind the house and looking at the ocean. Can I join you? Kakashi asked and sitting beside Zanari. Well Naruto didn't mean any harm by what he said. Azuna-san told us about your dad, like you Naruto also grew up without a father, actually he's never known his parents, and he never even had a single friend. The truth is he had a rougher past than you. but I have never once seen him cry or complain. He's always trying his best to get people to acknowledge him. Kakashi. I no longer seek the village approval thought Naruto sitting on the roof. Just like your father. Naruto may understand your feelings better than anyone else, he doesn't seem to be able to, not be concerned about you Kakashi. End of the week. In the morning team 7 is going with Tazuna to the bridge dot before they could go dot Naruto stop them. Before we go there is something something I should show you. Naruto said as he ripped his eye out. Naruto what are you doing Kakashi? After ripping his eye out he crushed it. He used his ability Salita Vista. Salita Vista inclusive field of view. Alquiora can replay events he has seen to others by removing and crushing an eye, which turns into dust and flows around those he intends to use it on. In addition to his sight, the dust also relays what he felt at that time. He showed them the memory of his clone. It showed Gato and his men. Having a conversation. Flashback. Zabuza failed. Well, I was not planning on paying him anyway. Gato. So, boss, what are you going to do now? said a random bandit. Well, I plan to let Zabuza and his opponents tire themselves out. And when they are weakened you guys will finish them off. Maybe I should take the bridge builder's daughter as a hostage. Gato laughed. Flash back over. That bastard. Tazuna. Naruto what was that? Kakashi said as he saw that Naruto I had regenerated. That was my ability called Sola Vista. I can relay things to those I have seen by crushing my eye. Naruto. That his ability is quite usefully. It would make espionage so much easier. Kakashi said. So does mean we don't have to fight Zabuza. Sasuke. Yes. All Naruto has to do is show Zabuza what Gato is planning. Kakashi. So what happens now? Tazuna. We will go to the bridge. I will leave a clone to protect Inari and Tsunami. Naruto. Thanks. Tazuna. I'm skip. At the bridge. What, what this? Tazuna yelled at he see his co-workers were all unconscious. Mist started to fill the area. He is here. Kakashi thought. At Tazuna's home. Two of Gato's men were standing in front of Tazuna's house. Back to bridge. Long time no see Kakashi I see you're still with those brats. Zabuza. Zabuza stand down we don't have to fight no more. Kakashi. Why should I do that Zabuza? Naruto. Kakashi. Naruto used the Salita Vista. He showed the conversation Gato had with his men. That bastard Gato. I am going to kill him. Zabuza. You won't kill Gato. I will the one to do it. Naruto said he released his spiritual pressure. Zabuza fell to the ground. What is this I can't move. It feels like killing intent but more potent. Zabuza thought as Naruto pressure was pushing him down. Just how strong is Naruto? Sasuke and. Kakashi thought as they felt Naruto's pressure. Fine brat. Zabuza. Naruto stopped releasing the pressure. Azuna house. Tsunami and Inari washed their dishes when suddenly two men come through the door. Are you Tazuna's daughter? 
Sorry but you're coming with us one of the men say and grabbed Tsunami's arm. Boo who are you? Tsunami scream as she tried to shake him off. It doesn't matter he says. What can I do? I am scared. Inari thought while his body was shaking. He then remembered what Naruto said. Running away and crying won't solve your problems Naruto. Suddenly Inari yelled. Let my mom go. I will not let you hurt my mom. Inari said as he charged at the man. Inari no Tsunami. Stupid kid. Said one of the man as he took his sword out to slash Inari. He was stopped by clone Naruto. Well it is time to take out the trash Naruto said. Naruto Inari and Tsunami thought happily. Well if isn't one of the loser ninja Tazuna hired said one of the man. You did good Inari. You have finally stopped running away. Naruto. Naruto I was so scared Inari cries. Well you still have to work on the crying Naruto. Hey who do think you are ignoring said one of the men as attack Naruto. Lone Naruto shot a bala through his chest killing him. He then killed the other man using his blade. The trash got took out Naruto says. Thank you Naruto Tsunami said as she hugged him. No thanks needed. Naruto. Inari why don't go call the other villagers and tell that is time to end Gato's reign. The clone then poofed into smoke. At the bridge. Naruto how did so powerful fast. I merely gained the abilities of my previous life. Naruto. Your past live. Kakashi. Yes. Naruto. Time skip. What is this Sabuza you are betraying me? Suddenly a man step out with an army. Bada you finally arrived. You didn't plan to pay us did you? Zabuza. He I'm going to have you killed here and you are right I never planned on paying you any money, Gatu said. You are really are a bastard. Well it is time for you to die. Go get them kid Zabuza says to Naruto. As Zabuza said as it is time to die Gato. Now you will feel true despair. Naruto. Resurrection. Segunda atop Naruto. As Naruto said those words he was surrounded by a green aura. Well he was surrounded by the, the green aura he was releasing a large amount of spiritual pressure. The pressure instilled despair in everyone on the bridge. After a few seconds the green aura faded. Naruto stood stood there in his second release. Naruto looks like a monster. Sakura thought afraid. This pressure it is more powerful than when he released it on Zabuza. Sasuke thought. What is that form? Why does he have a hole on his chest? Kakashi thought. Luz de la Luna Naruto said as he created a green spear. After he created the spear he began slaughtering the bandits. Naruto killed them all in an instant. After he killed them he made his way to Gato. No please spare me I will give you anything. Gato begged. Well tell me where your money is. And if you have a safe then tell me the combination to unlock it. Naruto. Gato tells him where his money is in the combination. So you won't kill me Gato. I Gato Naruto. Wait we made a deal. Gato. Naruto impale Gato with a spear thus killing him. After killing Gato Naruto transforms back into normal. Inari and a lot of villagers arrived to see Gato dead. They started to celebrate when they saw his corpse. After a few minutes. Well I guess this is goodbye for now. Haku says to Naruto. Yeah Naruto. I hope to see you again. Haku. Me too Naruto. Well you are one scary kid. We sure can use your help taking down Yagura. Zabuza. The fourth Mizukage is dead. Kakashi. Wait what? Who is the current Mizukage? Zabuza. Mate to Rumi Kakashi. So she became Mizukage. It looks like we can get a pardon. Well anyway goodbye. Zabuza said before he walked away. Haku walked after him. Now that Gato is gone we can finish the bridge. Tazuna. Yes villagers shouted. Two weeks later. Thanks to you we've completed the bridge. Thanks for everything. Tazuna. No thanks needed. We did what we thought was right. Kakashi. Will come to visit us again soon Naruto Nyasen. Inari. Yes I will. Naruto. Team 7 left. Ha ha that boy changed Inari's heart and Inari changed the people's heart. That boy gave us hope and courage. Tazuna said with a smile. Hey how about we call this bridge the Great Naruto Bridge? Tazuna asked. He that's a good name Tsunami said. You better come visit me Naruto-kun Tsunami thought. She developed a crush on Naruto.